Hi folks, in this movie we're going to have a look at how to create a clipping path in Photoshop CS5. Uh, as you can see I've started with a completely blank page and I'm going to assemble the graphics and the text onto the page. The first thing I'd like to do, I'm just going to select the type tool. I'm going to click on to the screen and I've already set a size of 200 point I'm using a font of Arial Black so it's very thick so you can see the image coming through the text nice and clearly I'm just going to type uh, the word hello I'm going to knock off my type tool by pressing command and enter I'm going to select the move tool on the toolbar and move the word hello into the middle of the screen. Next I'm going to place an image or move an image into this uh, window and I'm going to clip that image through the text. I have assembled a couple of graphics already opened here at the top of the screen. I'm just going to select this picture and to move from this one to this one I'm just simply going to click on the image Keep the mouse pressed down, drag it up, wait for the tab to change, and then I'm going to drag the image down onto the screen. And as you can see, the image now fills the entire stage. In order to clip this picture through the hello text, I must have the image above the layer, or the type layer that I wish it to clip through. And I can achieve the clipping in a couple of ways. I can either right click with the mouse and choose create clipping mask or alternatively hold down the alt key on the keyboard position your mouse between the two layers I'll to see the two overlapping circles and when I click with the mouse it will then clip the picture through the text to release the clipping I can just do exactly the same hold down the alt key and click between the two layers clipping is released but I'm going to bring that back in again so alt key press down and click between the two layers next I wish to move the image around within the clipping here I can see the layer layer 1 with the original image active and provided I have auto select layer ticked I can then click anywhere on the I can click on the image and then just move the image around and display what I feel is the focal image to display through the text. Alternatively, if I want to move the actual text itself but to keep the picture in the same place, I must untick auto select layer here in the move tool. Then I'll target the layer directly by clicking the layer hello. So regardless of where I click on the screen, it will move the text but not the picture. Generally I prefer to have auto select layer ticked but this is one of the few cases I like to have auto select layer unticked. I'm going to select auto select layer. Now I wish to move the text and the image at the same time. To achieve this I'm going to select the hello layer and layer 1 at the same time. So with hello layer selected, hold down the shift key on the keyboard and select layer 1. Both layers are highlighted in blue. Now when I click and drag, I can move both layers at the same time. The next thing that I would like to do folks is I want to add a stroke to the actual text hello. The main principle of clipping paths is that or clipping mask is that we can emphasize a piece of text but the user still has to be able to read the text sometimes a stroke makes a text a lot easier to read and to achieve this stroke I want you to go to the hello layer I want you to go down to the bottom of the layers palette and select FX for add a layer style with that selected at the very bottom I'll see the option stroke this is a non-destructive effect that I can go back and take it off any time if I don't like it. 
with the stroke selected I'm going to choose a different size my 13 point here is a little bit big so I might bring that down to approximately 5 pixels black is a color but it can be changed if I don't like it and I'll select OK with that the layer style is now visible in the layers palette which can be turned off and on and could also be deleted if I need to the next thing I want to do is to actually place a graphic behind this to emphasize the text to achieve that I'm going to select another landscape image I'm going to click the image I'm going to drag wait for the tab to change and then place that image onto the screen it's not visible at the minute because it also has been clipped so all I need to do is to release this image from the clipping by holding down the alt key and click the space between it and the layer below I will change the stacking order of the layers okay. my clipping has been disrupted which I just need to add in again so that this image is clipped to the type and this image is now positioned below the text layer thank you for viewing this tutorial from Big Rock Designs video training if you like the video please uh, put in a comment if you don't like it let me know what you don't like and we'll make it better the next time also any problems you have drop me an email and I'll happily make a video based on that